Hello everyone, welcome back for more Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword. This is Regan here and we're finally back with some more. It's been a while since I recorded this, mostly because I've been busy with World of Warcraft as usual. I recorded the whole episode 4 of Walking Dead. I hope you all enjoyed episode 4 of Walking Dead by the way. That was a freaking awesome episode. I can't wait for episode 5. So... But now we're back to this, and we're going to be doing a lot more story. So we're standing here in the field of flowers. S running around in the flowers. Anyway, let's get going. We only got one part of the song left to get. And that's from the Thunder Dragon. So he is the one, or she, whichever. We don't know that yet. Is the one we're going to be seeking out. So you all know where we have to go. The worst section of the game. Nairu Desert. Well, let's get going. <laughs> I love doing that, just crashing into that thing in the cinematic. But yeah, so how y'all been doing? It's currently October 29th, uh, 10:43 in the morning, and we actually got snow over here in Norway now. A lot of fucking snow. A lot. And I hate it. I hate snow. I hate cold because over here in Norway we got winter for about five, six months. So yeah. It's kinda sucks. But anyways, you wanna go to the entry area of the to find this dragon. Because when you go down here, you'll see something interesting. Come on. There he is. There's our old friend. Hey, you there. Say, isn't my buddy Regan? It is. You come at the perfect time. I have something I want to show you. I'll come up here. Alright, so we have to get up there to where he is. Let's see where is this thing. There it is. Alright, what do you want? Hello, hello. If you remember, this is the guy that gave us the key, our first trip to... Or, not the first trip, I think it was when we were looking for the sand ship. Yeah, that's the one. I was just searching for a sacred flame going, did you find it? Been dying to hear whether we found it. Well, did you? So after that long, wild adventure, you found it. Regan, you're truly amazing. You know, I think it's time I tell you what I found about the legend of the three dragons. I'm certain there's a hidden area just beyond here in the desert. I found a narrow passageway, but it was too tight for me to fit through. My gut tells me there's one of the three dragons of legend, the Thunder Dragon, lives there. His robots are connected to him somehow, I'm sure of it, but... The Thunder Dragon, robots and time shift stones. Quite an adventure! <laughs> I can't agree with you more there, buddy. Sounds amazing. Alright, so let's go check it out. So yeah, this is a new path. We, I don't believe we've taken before. And as most areas, most places here, you have to use the hook shot. So, this should be the last thing we have to do. Basically, of the main story before you can actually complete the last of the side quests. Once this is done, uh, we should be able to get the five heart piece and then be done with all the side stuff in the game. So, we're getting extremely close to the end of the game, guys. We're getting extremely close. And I got no idea what I'm gonna do after Skyward Sword, but I'll take it when I get there. I do have a couple of ideas, but I like to keep it to myself, you know, just in case. Get some bombs here while we're at it. Oh, shit! Yeah, that was not smart. But yeah, as you see, this is where he was digging before. And... Oh, there's a goddess chest behind there. But yeah, there's... Uh, still, you can't go in there. So, what you want to do, pick up a bomb. Do the bowling thing. And now you should be able to crawl through. So let's do it. Let's find out what he uncovered. You know, it's weird Link doesn't get claustrophobic in places like this. I mean, look at this. It's barely bigger than he is when he goes through these. I would freak the fuck out if I had to crawl through something like this. Oh, what is this? Ruby that we don't need. But this is something more interesting. A statue. 
I really, really need to find these here because all they give are not materials, but whatever. Nope, I don't want that. I don't want that stupid cutscene. Oddly enough, it seems that drawing a circle strange wall will produce something good. Huh. Really? We'll have to keep that in mind. Alright, so what do we get? This should be a completely new area that we have not been in before. Yeah, this is a new area. It's a lot. Nairu Gorge. Let you tell of a dragon lord to the goddess living in, in this area. Yep, the thunder dragon lives here. But where he is, you might ask, well... Let's just say that involves in a lot of pain to figure out. You see, there's a reason why I have not been wanting to record this for a, for a while. I've had the chance to do, but I was going to record it the other day. When I finally got the actual wanting to do it. But my Wii remote died with battery, so I was like, oh, oh well. But yeah, there's a reason why I, would, why I haven't recorded this already. Not just because I'm lazy. But because this is annoying. We'll see why in a bit. First, let's explore this area. And get this. For love of God, get this. But yeah, you see this here. This looks familiar, doesn't it? Yeah. And there's a bunch of railing over here. And there's a tree over there in the goddess cube. Which we can't get yet. But yeah, if you go look over here. There's a bunch of bones. A talking skull. This doesn't look good, does it? No, it does not. I can't actually remember what I have to do at first. Uh, well, I have to blow that up. Where's the beetle? It's the beetle! Alright, so fly over here with the beetle. Because you have to get over here. I believe that tablet over there actually says what you have to do. This puzzled me a long time first time through, trust me. Entry to the area ahead is allowed only by permission of the Thunder Dragon, Lanairu. Yeah, but there is no Thunder Dragon around here, man, just a pile of bones. That, but if you go down here you look down there you see something sparkly it can that be when in doubt use the beetle the tough beetle is great for this area there's a key it must be the, th the thunder dragon's key he's probably lost it during all the years he's been here because he's been here for what a thousand years I mean yeah so let's go see what we can find I mean, the Thunder Dragon's gotta be around there somewhere, right? Oh, Piats. Thank God for friendly Piats. I hate those annoying Piats that attack you. Those are just pain in the ass and everything we sell the game. I like the Twilight Princess and Skyward Sword version, where they're just neutral. Hmm. Bugs. What is this? Time shift stone! I'm guessing that's what we need. A bunch of robots. Yeah, we've talked to this guy over here. There's a lot of big time shift stones here. Did you get permission from Master Thunder Dragon to come here like we did? We're just about to transport your time shift stone to Master Thunder Dragon. And then this starts moving. Many monsters room practice extreme caution. Then he dies again. So yeah, now we have to escort this. And I can't point enough how much of a pain in the ass this is gonna be. And it's not that big of a deal at first, but it's when you get to some later rooms and it becomes quite a big pain in the ass like this one. Because these enemies are back. Yeah. And we're about to die. I hate these guys. Because they have those fucking annoying swords that are filled with lightning. And there's a bunch of these guys here. A bunch of these guys. If any room in the game you're going to die, this is probably it. To be honest, 
Oh yeah. And the last room here, let's see if we can actually bring up the map. Uh, the, this area is a bit annoying. This area right here is not that bad. And you got this small hole right there, it's not bad. But this, this room is a pain in the ass. It's the biggest pain in the ass. Skyward Strike helps a lot with these guys. Mostly because of that, but you can also knock them outside of the time area. Die! Alright, so here you need the claw shots. Because the switch to open the door is up here. So that's a bit. There are also gonna be quite a lot of platforming in this area. Monsters to kill. This air, this room is one big ass platforming area. And you gotta be moving quick here. So you can stay on the freaking thing. Alright, so this it's also a waiting game, but it's also a game of speed, so you have to be moving quick and dealing with these guys. And here we'll stop for a bit when it reaches the door. So you can actually slow down a bit if you want. This does the switch over here. Now you can keep moving. So yeah, keep an, keep an eye out now for this vine over here. Right, so now you just gotta keep moving. I believe the time area actually stops the thing coming out from there as well, but I'm not sure. No, it doesn't. Or maybe it does, I don't know. It was a bit hard to see if there was actually time shift. No, wait, it doesn't. Never mind, my bad. I just got lucky. Yeah, man. Go. That was close. That was fucking close. Yeah, man. Right, go, 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 go. Yeah, so... See what I have to do here. I know there's something I'm gonna have to do for a switch. Oh, that might be it. Yeah, that's gonna be it. This is the hook shot part. There's always a hook shot part. This is actually going a lot quicker than I thought it was going to be. I might actually be done pretty quick with this area. So then I can do a lot of stuff after as well. Nice, so now there's a hook shot segment. There's a lot of bats up here as well, but don't worry about them because they will disappear once they're inside the time stream. So as long as you stay within inside the time stream, then you should be fine. So Yeah, that's one good part about this. Some enemies actually do disappear. But trust me, a lot of enemies will appear in the next rooms. Yeah man. A bit nerve wracking if you're if you wait too long then you're basically gonna die. So yeah. Alright, one more. Well, well they just add a Y and at the end you have to hook shut down when you you like your mind gets used to the targets. You're like Oh, I have to do the target thing again. But then you get to the end, end and it's like what the fuck? Come on. Oh. Uh, oh. Here's something we haven't used in a while. I think we can leave the whip on because I think we're actually gonna need it. Wow. It's. Oh no, these things. Yeah, these things are annoying. And you got this over here. Here, don't miss this. We're just gonna ignore the enemy. Just wait for it. Go. Haha. <laughs> yeah, because we can. Alright, so. Should be able to stun with this room, and then it's just got the worst room left here. Just doesn't matter if you take some damage, to be honest. It's just easier if you can run through, even if you take damage. 
because they don't knock you over or anything. But yeah. Okay, so this part. This part can be kind of annoying. Uh, wait for it to come all the way over here. You can actually run, you have to run up there in order to get to the next area. But you can't run up when that thing is active, so you have to wait like this, then run up the freaking sand. But luckily, there's a lot of stamina fruit over here, so. Alright, pick up these hearts. Trust me, you're gonna need them. Uh, let me see which thing I want. Eh, doesn't matter really. Yeah, once you hit this though, you gotta be quick to move. Because this thing on the stair blocks. And then you got this room here, which is the worst room. Uh, because these guys are back. Then you got these guys. Yeah, man. It's just, just taking out these guys quick. Because these guys are a pain in the ass. You can die. If you take out these guys quick, then you don't have to worry about the others. And then you just need there's just two more. I think first time through on this, I died like 10 times in this room, which was kind of annoying. And then this thing, which is kind of annoying to get the camera angle on. But yeah, that's it. That's basically the hardest room. If you can get through that room, then you're pretty much done with this. Because outside here is just a small, small area, which is the final area up there is where the bone pile was. So you just have to get past this one area here. Is extremely easy to do. All you basically have is these guys here and a couple of rocks trying to stop you, so. Which reminds me, I'll oh, get my beetle out. Wow. Re remote is really out of whack. But what else is new? So get this and take it all the way up here. I think you have to do that twice actually in order to get past this bridge, but I'm not sure. Oh yeah, maybe it just once, but you got some enemies here. Though. We'll try to stop it. I think there's a golden one up here as well at the end. Yeah. But those also die one shot now, which makes this a lot easier. Now you get just sprint up up here, and be happy you're fucking done with that part. Holy shit, I hate that part. But yeah. Now we got the thingy over here. And it should activate a pretty big area. I do believe. 